Tunisia security update here on June 26 and I wanted to share this update as a reminder and really to pay respect for all the victims of the June 26 mass shooting attack that took place in Sousse, Tunisia. Now for those of you that don't remember or you simply are not aware of the incident, on June 26, 2015, a mass shooting occurred at the tourist resort in Port El Kantawi, which is about 10 kilometers north of the city of Sousse in Tunisia. 38 people were killed when a crazed gunman just opened fire in, in a hotel and 30 of those victims were British. Now it's hard to believe that it's been five years since that tragedy and with all the chaos happening in the world it's easy to forget about it but that's not the case for the victims uh, of the incident. For example, you can see here there are many victims that are still deeply, deeply saddened by the tragedy and they're still trying to bring awareness about security and safety and just really about tourism, the safety and security for tourists who visit Tunisia. Now, Tunisia has made a lot of progress since the tragedy, namely it has improved security for tourists throughout the country and it continues to work with the international community regarding terrorism and other security initiatives as well. Here at the Tunisia Security Update uh, Facebook page, we follow these, these initiatives, we also follow the incidents, we follow the cases, and we try to share informative updates for those that, that love Tunisia, that want to visit Tunisia, that want to know more about Tunisia, just as information so that they could educate themselves, practice good security awareness, and enjoy Explore Tunisia. I just want to leave you off um, this quick video here. I want to leave with the FCO statement today, which I think is, is very interesting to not only uh, um, consider, but also it shows the, the progress that has been made on the ground. So the, the FCO um, statement regarding the anniversary today uh, shows us that they remain cautiously optimistic about Tunisia. And it says, the statement reads, the Tunisian government has improved protective security in major cities and tourist resorts. That's positive. That's great, and it's and it's true. If you if you look at the progress and development that's been going on in Tunisia regarding security and safety at, at tourist destinations and so forth, it's improved and you know thumbs up for Tunisia. But the second part of their statement also shows their their caution. So it says you know, in major cities and tourist resorts, so it goes on to say that, but terrorists are still very likely to try to carry out attacks in Tunisia, including against UK and Western interests. So it's not two thumbs up, it's sort of a thumbs up and let's hope for the best. So again, I wanted to pay respect for the victims of the tragedy. Um, to all the victims and families, my heart goes out to you. And I really uh, hope that you can find peace uh, with such a great law. So here's to here's to safer time and a safer um, environment in Tunisia, a safe summer. I know that a lot of there's a lot of challenges on the ground, and we will continue to post informative updates here at the Tunisia Security Update Facebook page for those those of you that want to stay up to date with all the latest news in Tunisia. So at Davis Security to come to you once again. Reminding you to stay safe and explore Tunisia. Take care.